We're in a storage garage that I have near my house. Um, this is my my beloved 65 Impala SS. I've owned this car since November 1996. There's no engine or trans in here right now. That's why she's sitting in the garage. I have big plans for turbo small block. Um, but I want to do a paint job on her first. I want to do a frame off resto. But every time I come over to this garage, man, I get tormented. She's sitting in here, not driving, not running. It only makes me sad. Oh, the car was originally Emu Orchid. And uh, at least I got some tires and wheels on her now. And uh, car's originally a 327 Power Glide, 275 horse 327, but I changed it. Was all that was all gone when I bought it. Yeah, the junkyard engine and transmission. And I put a 383 in it, and then later on converted it to a four speed, which it was for years. Oh, every time I get in this car, it's painful. I'm just being behind the wheel of this baby. See, I bought a four speed off e uh, console off of eBay. What I paid $150 for this one off of eBay. That was years ago. Now they're getting like five times that much money. I so lucked out finding this decent one. This one's not bad at all, really. Um, still has my JVC stereo in it. All the gauges worked. Um, though I didn't have the temp gauge hooked up. Uh, oh, the temp gauge on the bottom. Uh, or the amp gauge. I was using these for that. I did have both oil pressure. I had the oil pressure gauge working. And uh, my uh, pro car buckets. No headliner. I did get a carpet for it. Drove it for years with no carpet in this car. Um, back seat is still in decent shape. Not horrible. Rear package tray is coming apart again and warping. It's because of the wind that's leakage water. For some reason, since I've driven it, the right passenger door window won't roll down now, which sucks. God, I miss buying behind the wheel of this car. Oh, if you miss being behind the wheel of it. This was my view for years. I drove this car. Probably a hundred thousand miles over 20 years. Averaging four to five thousand miles a year. Uh, I kept track of it because I, I was get, it was getting insurance breaks because of it. And I drove it everywhere when I lived in California. It was my only car for five years. Man, this is depressing. I got everything in my garage to make it run and drive again. I just got to make a decision on whether I want, I want to make it run and drive or fix it. And you can see there's duct tape all the way around the window because the only thing holding this window in anymore was the chrome trim. The seals completely wasted on it. It leaked everywhere on all four sides. And and it's pretty rusted out at the bottom. If, you, if the tape wasn't on it, you'd be able to see. You can actually see where it's actually coming in. Up there, and the moisture got in right there. This was a dash pad car. I took the dash pad off of it. So when I do the fix the windshield channel, I'm going to fill in these holes down here. I don't. I, pad, dash pads on these 65s always look like an afterthought. It looks stupid. They look better just painted. Right yeah. here. Bought these. <clears throat> it was sitting on two jack stands and two flat tires. So I got these American Racing 
think these are tour thrust twos, uh, which are super common. Found these used. They're really good shape. They're just dirtier than hell. This is an odd one. I didn't buy. I bought them before I realized these are the back two are 16 by eight. The fronts are 15 by seven. These are 15 by seven. Those, uh, and some used Cooper Cobras I had lying around. That I still hold in the air pretty good. Um, but the back tire, you know, you ever try to find 16 inch tires these days? They don't make them. Yeah, if they're not 17s or 18s or 15s, they're hard to find tires. These I actually found in a salvage yard. These actually came off of uh, some sort of SUV or crossover. Uh, they're 245, 70, 16, so they're pretty tall. They'll hold the gas in the car up really nicely. But And they fit the 8 inch rim pretty good deal. But, Nah, these will work for now. I can move the car around if I need to. I can drive on them if I have to. They're good enough tires. They're only a couple years old. And um, and then I will go back to figure out what I really want for them. This quarter panel is pretty trashed when I bought the car. Let's see if you can see this. Previous body work, cracked Bondo. Oh, and they had a hiding a crease that went all the way down the side of the car. So I mean, he dragged something all the way down the side of the car. And these two round spots were two Bondo spots that didn't have enough hardener, so they came off the, off the, lifted off. And it was already rusted, even though this is a California car, it did have rust in it. Um, this whole quarter panel was trashed when I bought it, it still is trashed. And they pulled a dent in the wheel well here. See, it's all bondoed. And you can see where they drilled holes to pull the dent out. The door's starting to get a little spot of rust down here in the corner. Fender's okay. This is a different fender for the original one. I have the original one at home. This car got hit five times in the front. Still have the original 327 MMs. I kept putting them on the new fenders. The front end's made about four cars now, I think. The fender was originally teal. The car is evening orchid. The original color was evening orchid. And you can see probably best with this door. There's the original color. I painted it black uh, and make sure it was all one color. It's just a, it, was it Eastwood's Rat Rod Black single stage? And um, you can see this front fender starting to rust out too. This is, this is what the probably results of me driving on the salt flats. On the way out to Nebraska, that quarter panel's gone. See the whip is all gone. There's probably a ton of Bondo back there too. <clears throat> this is the second, this is actually the third header panel. Second grill from all the accidents. Amazingly, they never touched the original bumper. Original radiator support's still good. Um, hang on a second. Oh, ah. yeah, see, no engine or trans. The exhaust is still in there. I put Hydro Boost in a while back. Air steering pump still lying there. Uh, MSD box. I, I rated this car for a lot of parts. The four speed's in my 67 GMC sitting outside right now. Uh, when I broke the one that was in it. Uh, let me see CPP tubular A arms, big giant Hellwig style sway bar, 
It has disc brakes. Um, lots of work done under here. Like I say, every time I see this car come over here, I get a little sad because I need to get it going. My other project in the storage garage is this 63 glass bar Avalon. I found this sitting in a salvage yard. And just the whole shape and design and the two-tone coloring and that wraparound windshield. I just had to have it. Paid 300 bucks for it, drove it home. It was pretty rotted on the inside when I bought it. I gutted it. The seats were just completely destroyed. Uh, that's a boat cover in there right now. I had the boat cover off of it for a while. Took the had a hundred horse Mercury six cylinder outboard on it. Took that off because it was junk, but sold it for two hundred dollars because of the so many needed parts for one of those, and those are hard to come by. Merc key keffer. This is the you see the name over there. Uh, glass bar Avalon. Collected a ton of parts for it because so, I bought it didn't have any gauges or anything on it so I have Found on other boats Vintage gauges down here um, That's a speedometer Oh, yeah, cool compass. Looks like it's accurate. That's facing, I'm facing north right now. And the tachometer. It's pretty cool. I'll reuse these when I get this boat back together. I have another boat that I bought for parts, but it's, it's a running driving boat, but it's an ugly ass boat. I like this one so much better. It's the original steering wheel. Apparently that's the way it's supposed to go, like that. Because um, that's where the horn button is straight up and down. Well, I think it's up there. Yeah. There you go. Alright. Comes on a whole. This is the original Holes Claw trailer, which is actually still functioning. I replaced all the wiring and added, uh, re replaced the tail lights and added those side marker lamps down there. And um, everything on it still works. It's actually a tilt trailer too. See that? I'd like to repaint this trailer, reuse it. Though my other trailer is a Shorelander and boat sits real low on the trailer it's a low rider compared to this thing <sighs> these things have got such cool details back then front light it had like a horn or something there something else there i don't know what but i'll fix i'll figure it out and fill in the holes on the holes with fiberglass and re-gel it. White gel is easy to get. And this windshield, this is not plexiglass, this is glass. Probably worth more than the boat. <sighs> Trying to find one of these is impossible. And it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. So the bolt hole shape. Um, one of my other projects I'd liked. I've been thinking about getting rid of it since I lost my job, but I don't know, I just can't bring myself to do it. Wouldn't make any money, wouldn't lose I probably would lose money on it. Well, I've already made two hundred dollars back on it, so if I sold it for a hundred bucks I'd break even. But I don't want to sell it. I like it too much. It's a cool boat.